Good morning, folks. Hope everyone's well. Um, if you're hearing it snuffling, snorting, it's not me, I promise. Dog sat next to me. Um, so, this morning, I'm taking the Honda out for a ride. I say a ride. It's going to get used. So, this is the first time I've used it since changing the clutch plate. So, we'll see if it's made any difference. If not, I'll be adjusting the cable again just to see if there's any uh, leeway or any movement. Just to see if it works better. Um, Saying that, it's a slight review. Uh, I could stand there and waffle on about this motor all day long. Um, I just want to clear some things up. Um, when I revealed this mower, I was literally... Literally... Um, been shoveling, I think it was around about three tonne of soil. Um... And it was one of the hottest days in the world. And when I did it, I was like taking myself a break. And, you know, I'm only human. I lost train of thought. I, shouldn't have I probably shouldn't have posted it in a way. Because, like, half my information was probably not correct. Or I forgot it. So, let's clear some things up. I was knackered. Um, I shouldn't have. I probably... I say I keep saying I shouldn't have. I put it out there, you know, we're running human. So the the cut on it is 21 inches, 53 centimeters, which I got wrong, I think, because I couldn't remember whether it was 21 or 22. But at the end of the day, for me, when you get to a certain size lawnmower, they're all the freaking same, you know. As long as it cuts and I get done in a reasonable amount of time, I'm not really that bothered. Um, what else? Again? Right. Um, the bumper. I said it should have different wheels and a bumper on it. It should, and it shouldn't. Okay, so the HRH has, um, I, I can't remember if it had the back handle, I think it's just on the haters. Um, so the HRH has the solid wheels and the bumper and a variable drive. So the story goes, I was in the shop, it was waffling on and saying, I need this, I need that, and I, need that, and I want one of these, and I want one of them, and all I wanted was a, home, uh, was a mower. Okay, so I sort of like lost train of thought, and obviously there was two very similar, and I had said to him at the till, HR. D, not HRH, and that's when it came, and I was like, where's this and where's that? I couldn't be bothered to question it too much, um, until I went back and picked some, I think it was Strimmer line up or something like that, and I said to him, or said to them, should I say, it wasn't him by any chance, it said to them, why have my mower got the bump bar and that on it that I was expecting it to have? And they said, well, you've got the HRD, it's the HRH that has it, and I was like, but that's the one that I wanted. And he's like, but that was one that you asked for. So I got it wrong, basically. Um, I got a HR, uh, HRD instead of the HRH. So that's why it's not got the things on it. I'll spit this out one minute. Um, so yeah, um, my fault. I ordered the wrong bloody mower. Um, that, that being said, I went on Honda's website. Um, and bar a few things, they are virtually the same thing. Um... I'm sure someone's going to come along and say I'm wrong. It's false. I don't give a shit. Um, I've just went off the website. The engine's the same. I'm pretty sure the deck was the same. This I actually looked months ago, so I'm going off what I remember. And it actually said they both have a single drive. I don't know how that works with the HRH having a variable drive. I don't know. Um, would it have been worth me spending the extra money and getting the other one? I don't know. Um, uh, all I can say is I'm happy with this mower, bar a few niggly little bits. We've all got niggles, haven't we? Um, one thing I can tell you is, I want to say one thing, there's a few things I can tell you. I'm happy to go to my garage and get that mower out because I know it's going to start. I'm not going to be covered, I'm not going to be surrounded by smoke within the first 30 seconds. Um, it's powerful enough to do what I need. In some situations a little bit too powerful but i'll go through that when i talk about the niggly bits um and it's really comfortable for me just the just the, the way it's set up and the way it works for me is spot on um i, I just i've got no, no qualms about taking this mower out a bar from me changing the clutch plate absolutely nothing wrong with the workings of the machine a couple of a couple of things that i'd like to see change but you know, we all have a quirks, don't we? So let's go through the things that maybe I don't quite like. So we'll start from the top, which is the handlebars. Um, I believe that it's all the same on all the Honda mowers. They are like a thin bar. It's fine. It's great. Although I've got HRB and I've had a H, uh, H, uh, HRB two, 425 and I've had HRB 
four two six or four two seven, whichever it was. One was a sixteen and one was a nineteen inch cut. But don't quite, don't quote me on them. They've all got the same handles. Um, but I feel for the size of the machine that it is and the weight that it is, it would benefit from a cushion grip or just a thicker handle, um, just something just something to pad it out. Um, that being said, it's never going to stop you from using it. It's just the way my hands sit in position. I feel that um, maybe it's going from that hater that had a cushion handle that, that's quite nice to hold on to rather than just like a cold steel bar. It's a niggle, I know. It's one of them things. I've got used to it. It doesn't bother me. It's just something I'd like to see on it. Um, talking about the handles, when you get down to the base and it's fixed to the body, when I first got this, this was rigid as hell. Um, and now it, it won't tighten up. So there's, there's not much movement, but there is movement in it. And when you try and tighten it, it won't go anymore. Maybe I just need to stick a couple of extra washers in there just to clamp it just that bit more. Or the washers that are in there, of the hole that's in there, has got a lot bigger, so it allows it to move. I don't know. I've not investigated it. It's not bothered me that much. I would just like to see it a bit more solid on the base. Um, I don't think what else was wrong with it. The bag, the grass bag, it's absolutely amazing. It's got a good size. You can get a good amount in there. Only one downside is it's ripped already. I will show you it. It's a, it's a point on the, it's right at the back where the handle goes across the back where you hold it to empty it. It's literally, as, it, as you pull on it, it's created an arch and it's put a pressure on that stitching and it starts coming away. I wouldn't expect that in the first year. Probably not even had a year on it yet, to be fair. Um, it's had a good season on it, so that's probably why. Um, so yeah, that's that split. I would like to have seen it last a bit longer. I mean, these have only got commercial get, commercial warranty for a year, so you know it's going to go in. I think it's booked in. It's booked in this Friday because I've got an MOT for the van, so I'm getting everything MOT'd and sorted out this Friday to uh, sort it sort everything out so I'm ready for the season basically. Um, so I'll get them to sort any other bits out on it. Although, warranty, don't get me started on warranty. I don't think it's the warranty of the machine that's the problem. I think it's the people that I'm taking them to or buying them from It's the problem. I won't name names. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna run you around because what I'm gonna do is go to the job and while I'm on the job, I'll do a video while I'm there. Um, other than that, I don't think I can find anything else wrong with it. One, uh, one thing I would like to see is a single action lever. So where you've got the lever on the back of this machine, you move the roller up and down, and then you've got a separate one for the front wheels. It is only two, so it's not like somewhere you have one on each wheel. Um, I actually personally prefer the one lever. It, it just makes things easier because you just flick it and go, rather than you forget about the front wheels and, you know, there we go. Anyway, I'm gonna go, uh, get to the job, get set up, get all the grass trimmed and the border's done, and when I come to cut the grass, I'll bring you back. Uh, as you can see, that daft dog. He's not stupid, what he does when I go along is he'll stand in front of the mower, drop the ball, so I have to stop and kick it for him. So he's not daft. So, here's the mower in all its glory. It has had some use since it's been washed since the clutch plate. Um, so, the handles are wide and wind. Where you get some wind you around film. Uh, so this is the handle. I think it should do with a cushion. Um, just, there's no grip to it. I think it needs to be a little bit thicker. Uh, maybe it's just my hands. Um, I could say about used to being I mean, something big in my hands, but we're not going that way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not got variable driving or anything like that, but you should know that. Um, Lee at LHL says he didn't like this design when, you, when you've got it engaged. It sticks out quite far. Uh, yeah, again, in a garden for me, it's mainly used on gardens like this that are really open nothing to hit into all the borders are a good two or three feet away from walls and stuff so i have no problem with that uh, maybe in a smaller garden it probably would be uh, but i don't use it for that so here we go here's a three point that i was talking about coming down here's the three bolts or three points that tighten see if i can get this see it is only a small amount of movement and it could be anything in there that's you know, worn down or anything like that. It's not gonna cause any issue, it's just one of them things I've noticed. Um, these are quite cheap, probably cheap to replace as well, but I noticed they're like, you know, plastic central. 
here we go. They're the wheels. I don't like the mud guards, although on this mower, the, after the first couple of months of using it, they stopped popping out. Maybe I changed the way I use the mower or something, but I don't know. It doesn't have the bull bar on it, like I said. Uh, there is one thing I didn't mention. I'll just flip this over. There's one of the niggles. It was a roller mower. It's, it's flat. It's a smooth surface other than the scratches from the stones. Um, and I actually prefer ribbed ones. This has got so much torque that, like on the last one, it's got a lot of moss in it. If it sinks down, it just spins. It just, like, wheel spins, basically. So you end up pushing the mower. It's a big, heavy mower when it's full of grass. Oh, well, it's got grass in it, should I say. Especially wet like this. I mean, that's just from two gardens that... Well, yeah, this grass is about two gardens worth already. Um, I like to add, I didn't sharpen that blade either. So that's still uh, as it was when the last country blade was playing on. Anyway, so that was one of the niggles. I would like to see a ribbed roller. And here, on the grass bag. Watch out, mate. It's where it's ripped. So, obviously, as you pull in on that, to empty it, you put pressure on there. Um, yeah, it's not very good. I would have thought I'd have got a lot more use out of it. And one thing I didn't mention is this. I don't know if they've tightly woven this more, but on my last one I had, it seemed a lot easier to um, clean out. This one seems quite tough. It seems to get clagged up quite quick. Um, I don't know if it's just me. I'm just not used to them bags. Um, I am actually thinking about selling this mower and uh, going for one with a plastic box because everyone seems to say that they work better. Never used one myself, uh, but we'll see. So, there we go. There you go, guys. So that's going to conclude this. There's no point in me carrying on waffling on. You get the gist. I like the mower. It's cracking. It's a pleasant wind. Um, what more can I say? With every mower, there's always going to be niggles. No mower is perfect. One, what one person will like, another won't. Um, I just find these so easy to use. Comfort, the right height for me. I'm 6'1", maybe 6'2", with shoes on or something. You know, um, yeah. So, like I said, I might sell it. Um, I was going to try and sell it, actually, before I started using it again. because It was lovely and clean, but it'll only take five minutes to clean it. So, we'll see. Um, I may even just buy a full version of this, actually, because... I'm starting to think roller mower isn't the best way to go all the time um, but we'll see we'll go we'll get on and I'll leave this at this because I've uh, probably rattled on way too long um, but yeah all in all impressed really like it and uh, I, would, I would definitely buy another so cheers guys